I want to take you back to the the to the act where we say all government resources for one of the consolidated fund mm -hmm. because that could be talked yeah. that can be used. Mm -hmm. That act the that the APC government passed in 2017. Mm -hmm. Then begin implementation. The money the way the SLPP consolidates, apart from what they make that the consolidated fund itself. Mm -hmm. Now money is the way they meet now NATCOM, the EPA, now the petroleum resources. These are money, not to, not to the other side of the money in the camera, the money they in there. And who that left them? Like the previous administration, they've not been left outside them for day. I should say some of what I don't read the hand a lot of the former president and his my mm -hmm. And we we'll also read the speech where he make the parliament when he be the dissolved parliament in December of 2017. It'd be very, very clear on what he where he be left. Before in the handover government, so not all things that we will talk about. So I know if if others say the way they may go pull money, we will not know. But the mayor, you know, if they don't give money, like consolidated fund, they put and then money, then they don't pay before they come into administration. Yes, subscribe. You always they watch we program them, but you not subscribe it to the channel. All wait till you get for do. Press this red subscribe button. And then you come over here to and press this bell. So the bell option, press this one with all. And don't do And no get for cost you anything. When you do this, now sign for show say you the support we for make we do more. Thank you for all your help me for share this program. Yeah! God bless you. Pambul Naso, I will say good afternoon and a special welcome to another edition of the program Star Reliable Sources on Star Radio with a broadcast on 103.5 FM na free tongue and several frequencies all about the country. Me when I bring the program come to you today, my name is Patricia Ganda. And inside today's own edition, like how we will not say this one all week, we we'll dedicate them for look at this government when on three years in office, we we'll they look from when they in a campaign inside the manifesto, the promises, the way they mean give to people them, if they not fulfill them promise here, how the promise they go. The president in media tour, he go round the media houses and we get Bokutin for say to the salon people them. And we also they look at several other things them inside the country and how the country they go. Inside today on edition of the program, I get one baby a little with me in the studio. I get Honorable Chairman of Majuba, now the opposition leader in the House of Parliament. Honorable, good afternoon and welcome to the program. Good afternoon, Patricia, and thank you very much. Um, under normal circumstance, also in the aid and they talk about minority and majority leader. But now you own title now, opposition leader. <laughs> you know how it changed so small. What is happening? Again, good afternoon. Probably this is not the start of the long crisis. Okay. This government comes with plenty of things in a way with democracy not ever see and not be ever they expect. But in specifically for answer your question, mm -hmm. we stand in order as very, very clear. We talk about majority and minority leaders at the House of Parliament. Okay. But unfortunately for the SLPP, then declare President Bio as president and APC win the majority of seats at the House of Parliament. But again, using the usual tricks then, because they want to deny democracy, then deny the people they're voting and not decide. That is for give SLPP state house and give APC parliament. Then say no, then again use the usual forceful means for suspend the standing orders and describe me as leader of the opposition and the leader of the SLPP as leader of government business, even though not to done the stand in others. Say. So since then to date, people they call me different names that street. Some they call me minority leader, some they call me majority leader, some they call me leader of the opposition. But at the House of Parliament, they will address me as the leader of the opposition. But definitely we stand in as a very, very clear. You will get more seats, you know, majority leader. Now we've been for the one the House of Parliament. But you know plenty of other things that will happen where the, the forceful imposition of the speaker at the house, where them beat we physically and remove we out of the chamber, impose a speaker on we, all the things that they will happen and lead we to also how this will make today in the call leader of the opposition. So what are some of you your duties, your mandates, what do you do as opposition leader? 
Well, basically, the word opposition is <laughs> sound up for the oppose all the time. Mm -hmm. But we are partners in development. We work, we are part of go in the governance system. So we work now for the checkmate, the executive. We parliament normally look at opposition and government because we get separation of powers. We constitution, we stand in orders, all be they look at parliament as one unit, one family. We're going to checkmate the executive, the checkmate, the judiciary. We forget balance of power. That is, we all and this distinct representative, um, we represent to people, them, we they provide oversight over the executive and other government institutions, but also with the we make laws when we primary responsibility. So parliament supposed for the as one unit, one family. Even though we did represent in political parties, but the constitution is standing as a look at we as one unit. But unfortunately, this SLPP government in 2018 don't change that pattern. They don't make we really talk about opposition, we really don't talk about government, we will not be for the talk about. So me holds them basically for now. Let me leave the opposition. And um we will support government who say things are good. But who say they come with things that were not good, as we don't see in the past. We don't support them, but plenty, plenty things. We don't approve plenty, plenty presidential nominees. We don't get once or twice who will say no because we believe say wrong. Like the, for a specific instance, the NEC commissioner. We will not say the NEC commissioner not qualified for a position because the rules and the laws then they will talk what you, what you forget for being a NEC commissioner. But the constitution also very, very specific. That is for say, the president for do the appointment of a commission and a neck in consultation with the leadership of political parties. We believe say they're not being do that, they may just send letters and consultation go beyond just writing of letters. In that instance, they will be challenged. But again, as usual, they use the the usual SLPP, this SLPP strategy for force them way through because after 2018, when they forcefully beat we out of parliament, they also take we in a court and illegally again remove 10 members of parliament. We make we number being for to So now, while we and then get a difference of one, they get independent MPs, they get paramount chiefs, and we all know how they the vote in the past. But definitely, without the good removal of them, 10 members of parliament and they where we believe say illegal and all men will say illegal because up to date the court of appeal still waiting for come to a conclusion on the decision where the high court may reach. Again, it deliberates because all what in the do be totally wrong. And up to today we will tell you say wrong because they are unconstitutional. But apart from the instances and they and one or two insta other instances, we always don't support government. Because if what in the car with rights, we do enough for support them. But definitely no will support them for doing what in the wrong because even their self not supposed to do anything wrong. Before I say we could support them for doing things that we wrong. So my role basically now for now for provide leadership to the opposition, support government for doing what's right, and stop and alarm what's wrong. With this brief background, where you know the change of names, um, it will any divide in the House of Parliament because first. Even though you will get minority and majority leaders, you will get um, members of parliament from different political parties. We you go to the House of Parliament, we are all being one. How the parliament stand now? Is there any divide um, because of what we know they go through or the kind um, leadership or what thing don't happen? Because it's like the parliament are not there together like one again. Yeah, definitely. Parliament not like it before. The unity and brotherhood or sisterhood in there before 2018 not continue for look like the same but fortunately the new leader of government business because that's what they call the SLPP leader now mm -hmm. Martin Yuma, mm -hmm. now, in leadership style they reach out okay they don't they do a lot they don't they make serious effort for the reach out mm -hmm. you know once in a while, I should, instead of I should say go down the pressure, it can it go push things that we so they no one push. Mm -hmm. But since it, it assume leadership as leader of government business, we don't get far more consultative engagement rather than say, let we go, we get number, we go vote, and all man going away. But the division with the, the relationship not as cordial as it been on the prior to 2018. But as members of parliament, we are a family, we always stay together. But as I say, when it comes to issues of national development, all man is taking your position because they send with it for who represents people. Then. 
we need to listen to the people and voices. We need to listen to what they want. So if what the people and say, and we believe in that they say, no go in line with what they then think as government side. Definitely, we don't go there together. But generally, as I say, in the leadership style we have come with, they don't they reach out a lot, they don't they consult a lot. Okay. Well, let me look, um, would they, um, specifically now down to the SLPP three years in government and all three years, and we see um, before the elections, the campaign period, every party will get a manifesto, but specifically with the look some of the manifesto promise there, where this government has been ghetto. There were a lot of issues, like um, the bread and butter issue. There were promise for carry to be clean, you know, for satisfy. We bread and butter business, you know, because however I beat a mortal man, now what you they eat now and get you. So how do you think say we don't manage this in the three years? They're able for fulfill that part in the manifesto at all? Um, Patricia, if you go, I will take you back first to the APC manifesto for 2007. Okay. After this program, I will encourage you to go back to them and read them mm -hmm. and see how much the APC government achieved in the manifesto. Mm -hmm. This government, if I read them now for the manifesto, maybe out of, because of the effort they made in the making and other things, I know give them past 10 15 percent. Okay. But coming to the bread and butter, mm -hmm. the bread and butter, I know we even give them 10 percent. I can tell people and say mm -hmm. you can campaign with propaganda, mm -hmm. but you need to govern with propaganda. Okay. Governance is like a real life. Mm -hmm. Not to almost you talk. People go see what you don't do for what you don't do. If people they get then they get it now. If people are comfortable in the people and they will be the help with the rest, then just call me two days ago and tell me say that yes will be the pay for us, so they don't add twenty thousand euros the back. Oh. These are just two, three days ago. Mm -hmm. So definitely, bread and butter are a fast. Um, not a reality, basically. It not exist. Mm -hmm. People are far more hungrier now. I mean, international index, they're not the show. Not just, this is to politics. This is a real life. Mm -hmm. When you go through global index and say, when you do assessment, people are hungrier in a salon today, mm -hmm. far more than prior to April 4, 2018. So bread and butter are definitely not a reality. But what was the big thing? Because we will see inside the manifesto, uh, we will get promised that uh, if we vote the SLP government, what do you think the way they tie into power, we then go to Una and the three? Um, I don't know if we able for you, but that one day at all. Well, like many other projects, <clears throat> when the president do groundbreaking the power on the launch, mm -hmm. when we not see into fruition it, the bakery is having one. You know, say, but I mean, I'm going to launch the bakery mm -hmm. somewhere in the far east. Mm -hmm. We still wait for see what's in the happen, but if for set up a bakery, they take more than three years. I wonder what else you'll be able to do after three years. Because the bakery will be one of the easiest things then for set up. So if it take you three years for doing a bakery, then I am I am worried. Okay, then another thing, um still inside this manifesto for me, since we see this new bridge. And um when you look at the past administration, this is the for a new Airport, the Mamama Airport. But then, when this government can scrap them, they say it's expensive. But then, we promise we say they try for building the bridge. We we go still they use because for go look at now I hustle. You know, if you feel you know fasting, so tell you have to pay forty something dollars for cross go. You know, and all that one day. So with this Lunge bridge, it's, it's a launched project, right? I mean, don't launch, but we not see nothing yet. How you go into that one? Patricia, I don't just want to talk about the bridge in isolation. Okay. I also want to tie with the airports we just mentioned. Yes. The cancellation of the Mamama airport mm -hmm. was one of the gravest mistakes with this government make. Why is that so? I will tell you, Patricia, I talk and do in the debate where we discuss the parliament, this mm -hmm. new terminal. Okay. Even the establishment of a new terminal, the construction of a new terminal mm -hmm. in Lungi, plus the bridge, mm -hmm. no will be an alternative to Mamama. Okay. The airport is about access. Mm -hmm. The distance from Freetown, when I also most of the businesses and people there to Lungi, and the distance from Yakumamama, you cannot compare them. Okay. Forget about the cost of the bridge, mm -hmm. the, the, not just about construction, but management and maintenance. Okay. The cost mm -hmm. compared to the construction of, of a brand new airport with other amenities. You compare that day to the establishment, you see the construction of a new terminal, in a misplaced priority. 
it is a misplaced priority. Mm -hmm. When you check the cost of this new terminal, mm -hmm. almost the same cost for a new airport number one. Yes. Almost the same. Mm -hmm. So what you want for left a new airport, like a place where you get access, mm -hmm. then you go spend the same money, very close, mm -hmm. for do a new terminal, then you wait for do a bridge. When is this bridge going to be constructed by whom? Mm -hmm. But as I said, even the bridge, you go collect it on to Lunge. But you know that you don't you don't want to connect Freeton to Lunge just for an airport. You for connect Freeton to Lunge looking beyond an airport. Because the management of that HSSF, again, they take more money. Yeah. So not to just say we can build a bridge, mm -hmm. we do a new terminal. We need we need the Mama Mama because if they give you access, you can na mama mama if you want to go Bo or Makini, mm -hmm. shorter for you, you want to come free to shorter for you. But you do cannot along even with the bridge, going to Bo at the same distance. Mm -hmm. Going to Makini still at the same distance. You, you, we don't play politics with anything here so. And the new terminal, the, the so-called bridge, all this are politics. Not so because the new Mama Mama project not be an APC um, initiative or idea for make the abortion governance not continuity. If you can't make a project, why do not about the whole the bridge where they, they construct now? They've been a launch and do in APC term contract we are signed. Why do not about the, the the hill station region road where they've been not signed with the Chinese? They continued it, not good project. Why they not about the construction of the three bridges then where they link with from Bo to Liberia? They continue with them. So why not the Mamama Airport? We not go play politics with anything here. So the Mamama Airport for not add value, not to just to Freetown, but to the entire Republic of Sierra Leone. And we'll be for not get a better aviation development by this country as well. And still we talk about the bridge, and we also like to bring another manifesto promise when I'm in the transportation. There was this promise that if um, people have voted for the SLPP government, um, and is the transportation wala or not only students but pedestrians as well, then we'll try for bringing in 200 new buses. Uh, as I talk to you right now, yes, there, is a, there is a motion of parliament even for discuss the 50 school buses we can. Okay. Because we're not able to go through the procurement details yet. Mm -hmm. One for discuss them. What I can tell you, the road they will pass, how they buy the buses, then what in the buses then cost. Mm -hmm. it, it, Many many questions and there for me for answer. No, no, the, the tunnel buses we still not see that it's three years down the road. Mm -hmm. So I don't want for waste temper and them. All I want for say, plenty plenty things and then at the manifesto way still unaccomplished. And some of them I think they don't fix quick. I know if you want to talk about the energy, I talk about I tell in a parliament when we will discuss the car power ship for the extension. But mm -hmm. I mean say APC, they run, um, they run the energy sector to a ship. Mm -hmm. When they can, they don't need ship. But when they can, have five years they have for the ship. Those will just drive them drive the ship. Then come for another five years. These are things that are easy for talk. As I say, you can campaign with propaganda. Mm -hmm. but you cannot cover with propaganda. And talk with the ship go go. The energy will get to the reality, the light. Mm -hmm. These are facts. They are tangible. If lights them, Patricia, you know if lights them. Me yeah. know if lights them. Exactly. If lights not, you know if lights they are no. So you know, you know, tell me say lights if lights not. Now they may tell about transmission. This na package, you know, they give light if transmission day. How they may they give light before 2018? The transmission we are still challenged, but they may they work on them. Now we they use that. So you know, they just oh, I can go give light. Plenty, plenty things and we don't talk about today. Able do. We don't know outside the Bumbuna face today. We don't know what are the status of our energy sector. We don't know when well, we um, sorry, Ella, Ella interrupted this small. When um, the president will do this immediate tour, he says something about electricity. Let me go back small. Let me listen to what he will get for say about the electricity sector. We still get a uh, problem with uh, electricity. Now, I say, the problem they will get, they cannot be solved overnight. The hope we will not forget is that. When I get a government, we don't diagnose the true nature, the um, root causes of the challenges, the, the binding constraints to development, and we they systematically and gradually attack them one day if, the, if, if no national pro problem is simple. Like when I say, people that say, oh, light, no, the, the machine they will get, it will give the whole city light. But we inherit all the cable them. 
we're not able to take the light to Usai for good. So we put all on, other than a fire the cage outside, or this, the cable, the, the, it just go off. For make you able to change the cable then, for make sure see everybody, the one the way the thief will, you pull them. And talking about uh, uh, power now, they, now the only country this we have seen in the world, where they teach the young transformer then, where they go, now they host them for giving light. That's always, we also for think, it's not always government, government, government. It, it, it has to be a concerted effort. Are we playing our part as a people? I will tell you, so now 57 uh, 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 transformers and launching inside Freetown here. Yeah. Then they go bend and pull them. And when you pull them, the whole area they go off. Is government making now new transformer they will try for bring them so that everybody go get it down the back? We're not be able to buy all together. But if the few as we bring them come, Syria Union, them, not to other people that they can attack you, Syria Union them, for either politics or bad hat or whatever you call it. Either go, you broke that one day, you cut them, you say for the cable, or some man just vandalized. <coughs> then we have a difficult situation on our hands. Well, now, um, the comments are the way president we make, we, um, we talk about the electricity. But um, these Patricia, challenges, are they new? Patricia, yes. as I say, um, I want to tell the president plenty, plenty, thank you. Okay. But with all due respect, mm. I totally agree with what the president says. So. Now, that may have been telling you earlier, I just not say, mm. you can come into governance with propaganda, okay. but you need to govern with propaganda. Okay. When they mean the campaign, they be know about all them things here, so but they never talked about them. Mm -hmm. They never talk about them. Always they talk about the solutions. So which means they be not aware that they so they exist. As I say, I totally agree with all what he say. And These problem, challenges yeah, we are sorry, there. Yeah, interrupt you. That problem we are having the same problems. We don't take down the years. That's it. And the thief has met and the thief came. That, that is the point. The they they be the always done the day, okay. but with all them thing and they, mm -hmm. we been they provide far more electricity than now. Okay. We be no say that they will be the first with them. That make when the president be the campaign, one of the platform they will campaign on, it's not the it campaign on the platform against lawlessness. Mm -hmm. Then things he has always mentioned so now lack of patriotism because it's forcing the tip in transmitter, you don't like your country, now lawlessness because the crime should be commit. So if three years down the line again, it's still they get challenged for address lawlessness. It should say that area they say, then still not succeed. It. Three years down the line. All them problems have been done there, all them challenges have been done there, but we still the give electricity. Not as how we from the one time or how they may not promise it go reach. But definitely their excuses, then challenges are not for big reasons why we're not for enjoy the same electricity we'll be they enjoy at least before 2018. What thing will they say if they're not able to give him more, may they not take we go back. Then they maintain what in the mix force before then can we go backwards. Well, um um we don't talk about the electricity. Another thing where um, they eat salon people they up. Like if you go, you people them, when they talk to somebody, they get them butter. But let me go back to this media talk. Let me mention something about the economy. Let me see what you, let me listen or remember we, what you mean talk where they mention the economy. Yeah, that fits the economy to the extent that we want to. But we started the process. And I'm very satisfied with the state of where we are today. We, as you rightly stated, you cannot run any country or even an organization with a battered economy. So we knew we were going to meet with a very difficult situation and we were equally prepared. We had planned for victory. And so when we got the victory, I selected um, J.J. Safan, who we just mentioned, to lead my team of economists for economic recovery. Have they done a commendable job? Yes, I would say. And that's why they are still there. If not, they will not be there. <laughs> what did we do? Um, we don't have, we have a lot of resources. We have not managed it properly. And therefore, we have been dependent on the support of donor uh, partners for a very large extent. And um, we need them. They are allies in our fight against poverty, in our fight to search forward in development, and the rest of um, the activities we are engaged in. We need it. 
to win the confidence of those allies. So what did we do? Well, we made a commitment to them. But I must say first that um, they have left this country already. Why? Okay, we see say, the president say <clears throat> they have not done much, but I said they are on a road to economic recovery. Um, I don't know what you make of that. Again, Patricia, you see, when the SLPP made a campaign before they come into governance, the current Minister of Finance and people that made the campaign, they come, been telling the people of this country, say, within six months, they will fix the bread and butter issues of this country. Mm -hmm. These are three years down the line. So for let we say we still need more time. Indeed, but not to take we go backwards and we'll move we forward. The bread and butter issues, six months by five, has still not been fixed. But there have been a commitment. And then we know the challenges because I believe that the Minister of Finance is a seasoned and experienced economist. So before he make that statement, he must not do research. He must not investigate. He not just talk him. So for let he come, he not able to fix them. The people learn this. The hardship increase. Then I am afraid. And with all due respect again, I agree with the president. He say insatisfied. Because I ministers, I mean, too, if you're not being satisfied, we don't pull them day. But we as opposition, definitely, we're not satisfied with the way the economy they go. We're not comfortable with the way the economy they go because we believe, say, hardship don't increase in the country. But I mean, promise we say in six months, then we'll fix them. So now, six months after, two years after, three years after, we not going to be satisfied. And I should say, most Sierra Leoneans, most, Still they complain because we they mix with the ordinary man and woman on the street on a daily basis. So the economy not something we'll be proud of at all at all. And this thing about IMF, we, we get good relationship with the IMF. So for say the IMF be not left with, the IMF not be left with. No, we work with the donors until the last minute. They may still give me money, they may still they support this government. We got in 2018. And they may they do one because they be, they may see the prudence in what they will do. But let will not forget, always closer to elections. Any developed economy, donors can slow down because they're not in one lay. You you concentrate by your politics, then you expect for use your resources. We not to probably for the intended purpose, but definitely we programs them in their life, them in their own. Just that when they come back, then go for go for every year you go to the IMF board. So the thing that we then go for now for the one and for the year, then we don't forget in 2018. Before elections, the 2017 December board will not approve a project for government and they don't release money. So, yes, we will deal with government. We will deal with it on us. Okay, now we go now to um, the youth of this country because they are made, they, they are large population. And I'm not saying um, FEC now, one party will not elect young people in the end. And that um, President Kumar, the one president will begin giving the youth them responsibility. Like you are one of them, you were young at that time. You say, but I, but I was not a youth, I was young. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said you were young, <laughs> I did not say you were youth. <laughs> you would have a white young person, you know. And, and for so many other young people, you know, because um, people let me remember, I say, Oh, people, this is what my young person will take or do, it not have nothing. But income was a different thought, and say the youth then now we empower them. But we find out now that there's so many youths who are dropouts, they don't get some they come college, they're not gonna work. There's nothing like youth empowerment. And that was another manifesto promise. What do you think? Um the youth population at this country now over sixty five percent. And one of the greatest challenges the way success is successive government and number two. As you just mentioned just now President Kuma do a lot for empower young people in offices. They also empower youths, not mm -hmm. just young people, because yeah. if you remember the likes of um, the CDA attorneys, mm -hmm. the Baimamus, the Mamadou Maligis, and many others. There have been very young people there. And these are just in administration, but other offices they may do it in the And this president again, President Bio, he said continue. You know, you get plenty of young people in the administration, be it in the executive or other administrative spheres. But the things that we have promise for alleviate the suffering of the youths. In the manifesto, then we talk about one one district, one factory. I don't know if any factory in any district at this point. This again are three years down the line. And it didn't have the manifesto. So if I should say if we don't get one one factory then, if I don't help. But taking you taking taking you back, definitely before 2018, we'll be in the season, jobs and be non the come for the young people. But when the SLPP take over again, 
even the mining sector where young people be the work, they shut down plenty. As I talk so within a court with SL mining, we pray say we win because as I say as an opposition, we own we, we platform for support government for succeed so good. So we pray say that we win the case okay. at the end of the day. But then shutting down the mining companies and they also not help because they increase unemployment. Even though they see the wage bill they get bloated or they see employment in other areas them way I sure we'll come to later. Mm -hmm. We this government will do much or perhaps even nothing for create opportunity for the young people and for get jobs. Because unemployment they need, they need increase. Mm. Quite recently talking about the economy where we just left just now. Mm -hmm. I sure say we don't follow the news where we don't they raise an issue in a parliament on the King Ho mining. Mm -hmm. The SLPP with a campaign on a platform say the SL the APC government give mining licenses when them enter into bad agreement, enter into this. King who they operate without an agreement. A bad agreement is better than a non-agreement. So I don't know who's would where they want for worker. If you say an agreement bad, you determine it. But you allow an um, you allow a business for operate without an agreement. That is definitely worse. You get picking again name, then you say bad. I should say because again name you able for trace them. It's better than picking again name. But well, what you say people they do so now in novelty, not even ever happened at this country. For you get a large scale mining operations, we get incentives from government for operate without going through parliament, without having an agreement. The King Home Mining now an example. I hope so to that way they plan for move the mining industry going forward. All right, um, let me go on. We still they look at manifesto promises, and here we take the the flagship, um, I would say, program of the SLPP. When I think um, free education, that has been one other promise. And um, the president being here for mention something about education. Oh, listen, small, then you will comment on it, please. More can be done, but so far, I'm happy that as an administration, we had the audacity to dare to say we will launch the free quality education, which means every child born in Sweden will have the opportunity to go to school and um, they will not have to pay uh, for the, all the expenses for going to school. Um, it's a national program, and therefore you would expect it to be extremely difficult to roll out, especially taking into consideration the fact that we did not meet anything in the coffers. In four months, we were able to block, to plug up all the leakages, and what we were able to accumulate is what we use to start off the free quality education. We started off the free quality education from the resources of this country. We did not have any donor uh, participation. So that's why I said we are audacious enough and we believe in the fact that education is so important that we should do everything to make sure every child in this country has the opportunity to go to school. Uh, if you are not a member, Mr. De Pekine, the member said we go to school. Thank you. Then they get food. Over uh, 600,000 of the Pekine, then they go food. And they're like, wait, now the future are the faithful. And with future now in education, them picking their so if we not they say this same problem will continue for happen if we not take education seriously. So if you want for member me, member that president, we can we make every picking, everybody in picking go school and they make pay and they pay. Okay, well uh, we are ready for talking talk about the education there. Um yeah, I'd need to say there are a challenges. lot of challenges. Um but then, let me look at not just the free education, we look at the terms of the quality. Then another thing where I would like for let you mention, or let you look, na the Lincoln Wing, you find out, say, that was one of um, the projects by the APC government, where self people can and scrap up. <coughs> so we get a lot of students, them where in the Lincoln Wing, where their future will be shattered. So free education, where is it taking to you into? Thank you very much, um, Patricia. Um, I want to agree with the president say that the, the audacity we then get 
for challenge this project my lord everyone because not a, not a small project but a very massive one so i want to commend them for that and with free then later quality because without quality the free is not you know there's nothing to do the better then we get quality going side by side with free then we just get free yeah. but again taking you back to 2018 when the then minister of for basic education alpha timbo go parliament then go confirm to you say it began the total support of parliament and i for sure to the whole world say we in our opposition self they support the president in this agenda yeah. we want for they succeed but before I go to the higher institutions where you mentioned, so because I will go to all higher institutions, not, not just in Kumkwe. Mm -hmm. When we've been there in governance, 2007 to April, but most importantly, the things that you mentioned, see no picking up for good school. Before 2018, primary education will be free. Government may still pay back and was fees. So not to new things then. The girl child been to go school for free. We now be a chunk of the one day where they go to school up to Beke. People not be they may go to school, they may pay a meager 75,000 leons, but they may get quality. Now they're not paying it, and that they, there is no quality. The primary school picking them, what in the happy with them? So, now they happy before it's not new because they still they buy their uniform. This the exercise books and where they distribute to Beke in 2018. Now, books and where they meet by the Ministry of Education. If you watch the print, you see them. The, we be don't print them, we don't make them books and they mean they in store. So not to book them where the SNP administration can go. They were there. So now make way the president say donors not been coming it. It is true, but then we don't meet the things them in storage. Now that made them able to implement them projects and then. So not to be just poor. You know, not to, they're not just can't and give the picking belay and into the woman belay and in two months and bond the picking. They meet the woman be pregnant and they don't bond the picking. So the picking them able for use. Another thing where um, Agana women um, presently talk is say, um, or oh, throughout the three years, we always say um, people from um, this administration, they always say they don't meet anything in the coffers. The coffers were virtually empty. But then he say they don't, they don't start the free education with donor funding, they started with the resources. You know, first he said there was nothing in the coffers. Then he said, we don't start with donors, we start with the resources now. The what do you make of the two statements? Yes, subscribe. You always the watch we program them, but you not subscribe it to the channel. All wait till you get for do, press this red subscribe button, and then you come over here to and press this bell. To the bell option, press this one with all. And don't don't. And not get for cost you anything. When you do this, na sign for show say you the support we for make we do more. Thank you for we your help me for share this program. Yeah, God bless you. I want to take you back to the the to the act where we say all government resources for one of the consolidated funds mm -hmm. because that credit yeah. no can be used. Mm -hmm. That act day that the APC government passed them in 2017. Mm -hmm. Then begin implementation. The money the way the SLPP consolidates, apart from what in the meet that the consolidated fund itself, mm -hmm. the money is the way they meet the NATCOM, the EPA, the, the petroleum resources. These are money, not to not to other side not take the money in the camp, but the money in there. And who that left them? Like the previous administration, they've not been left outside them today. I should say, some of them are read the hand a lot of the former president and his my coma. Mm -hmm. And we'll also read the speech where he make in the parliament when he be the dissolved parliament in December of 2017. It be very, very clear on what he did, where he be left before in the handover government. So not all the things that we will talk about. So I know if if others say the way they may go pull money where we don't know what the mayor you know you don't give money like consolidated for you the pull and then money then they don't deal before they come into administration.
Okay, well, family, if you just uh, join with the program Nasta Live, we'll source and the station where you listen to Nasta Radio. We the broadcast on 103.5 FM Free Talk and some of our frequencies across the country. And you will watch on Facebook Live. We'll sorry, we may get a little bit of break um, because of power cut. So we'll die when we get talking to somebody with three cities on our bear with small. And um, you can still send your um, text message the number is 0881035500, or you could equally comment below with Facebook live video. I got with me now the studio, the opposition leader and a parliament, Honorable Cherino Majuba, and with a look at the three years of this present administration in governance. Now, um, Honorable, let me look at um, something that has happened. Just um, recently, you find out that um, uh, not to say now, to we just begin, to we not go on, because in fact the, the APC office was brutalized years ago um, when the, the K then 10 um, members of parliament go to parliament and parliament say then they pull them. You know, then when they can they brutalize the APC office, not of the first step. But the police brutality don't go to a point now that even on individuals, it don't pass mark. We see the IPAM student. She was brutalized. Um, we see another video where one doctor na cannot himself toxic and go then beat and wound them because toxic is not hospital dirty. You know, so how you see the police in these three years? When we say the security sector, but more especially the police, now then they get interaction with the people then. Patricia, um, when you talk about the police, the first thing with the SLP people tell you, oh, we inherit the police. As far as they're concerned, they inherit something. But when you're in government, you provide leadership. If you inherit something with bad, you respond to that for making good, not for continuing for crime. And you talk about the police brutality at the APC party office. I was also a victim. Because when we left court at the APC party office, peacefully, me and my colleagues and the worker for come meet people and for tell them, for respect the law, for be peaceful and tell them, say, the court don't decide, we go appeal, we're patient. We meet police all over the party office, all over. And fortunately for me, I be wear a shoe when I there. We get them cooked rubber as they can call them, because they fire a rubber bullet on my foot. Wow. But fortunately, it can't the, the, the boot and rebound. Mm. There was no reason for the police then attack the APC officer because nobody was violent. But we we'll talk about the APC office as an example. The police brutality started at the House of Parliament, as I mm -hmm. tell you earlier. Yeah. The day where they want to impose the speaker on me. Mm -hmm. This is the only parliament at the world where police don't enter and beat members of parliament elected by their people and remove them from the chamber. So if police can go into the chamber, then brutalize MPs and get away with them, what else do you expect? That they only happen under this government here. Soon. And plenty other more things that don't happen with police brutality. We don't engage the police, we don't talk to them. Because we don't make them make, we don't have to make them understand say then duty now for protect the citizens, their lives and their property. Also for destroy them. We see the way they handled the incident in Belgium the other day. They're not being palatable. But where you they talk about this IPAM incident in recent, but quite recently also we see what's happen with in places in the Kenema and as recent as yesterday in the Sumaila town uh, the on Honorable Samabaya in, in environment, where we don't see people them, they go violent. But because they're involved in incidents that were connected to lower level elections of the SLPP, we don't see video there where people and they take stone, they stone police, the police they run away. The police know they shoot back. But we don't see in, instances where peaceful citizens them, they demonstrate for a generator on a McKinney, then fire live bullets at them, not rubber bullets, not tear gas. But the reverse, we don't see what happened at the east, where people they take objects and the stone police, the police and they run away from them. Not even a rubber bullet, they don't fire. Not rubber, not rubber bullet. So you just think again, say, probably the police need to be deliberate. Because if if you can fire rubber bullets in the APC office or tear gas, then something similar happened in another place, you don't fire even a rubber bullet. Before I go say the live bullets where you fire on McKinney. This lady, we talk about Tony Ipam. I watched the video, I was disturbed. Let me forget, say, na woman. You get at least five or more police officers will be in the overarm. Just one of them you don't do for arrest them and put on a truck. But if you then reach to the point for beat them, you wonder what's not the result they want. 
So plenty of things in the way the police don't do when we don't believe say them for do or them for don't do and better. So we we always don't call on them say the work and the responsibility are for protect with lives and property. So instead of them participate in damaging, let them continue for help with for protect with lives and properties because not done they the responsibility we then get in the state. Plenty other things that don't happen way we don't even mention one one. I mean, you follow the Lonsar, the Tombo, the Makeni. We see what's happening in Kailan during the recent by elections. But you know, you're not to come out of some of the things there. Because we see again inside the violence happen. It was internal, mm -hmm. it was SLPP to SLPP. Yeah. Nobody was charged. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the police need to go, go yeah. back to the drawing board. Because we rely on them for protective lives and property, make them go back to the drawing board and we think and see how they're going to address the things. I don't want to forget, in less than two years from now, we'll go to elections. We're not going to see the police, they address election related issues then the same way we need to do now. Because then it's something difficult to manage. Okay. You know? Um, another thing where they make so much um, around um, the cyber bill. I know say that myself, um, I go for going on a foot, you yeah. know. So um, this cyber bill, where there's so much talk about it, what do you make of it? Well, basically, the bill that before we, we don't mm. begin debate them. And as a parliament, not as a party, not as an opposition, as a mm. parliament, we look at the bill holistically and we look with, at the bill with one eye, that is the parliamentary eye. Okay. We don't only look at them from a partisan mm -hmm. perspective and with a partisan lens. And I also want to commend the Minister of Information because they don't listen to Parliament and what we ask them for do, we see they don't follow because they don't engage, they don't consult. Okay. So we believe, say, by the time we go come back to Parliament, whilst we the consult independently inside the consult, we will be able to forget a common ground, forget a bill, we not 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 to not will be a bill for an individual or a group, mm -hmm. it go, or 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 a situation. It will be a bill where it will stand the test of time. It will be a bill where they cover everybody and cover all situations. People don't only compare, um, say, with the 1965 Public Order Act, mm -hmm. Part Five, where we just repeal. Yeah. Say if far more draconian, blah blah. But as I say, the bill lay before Parliament. I know we we'll talk much on that because mm -hmm. as a member of Parliament, uh, when the bill lay before we. We prefer for discuss and within, but we still look forward for get the public views, public opinions, because we did it for represent the public, for represent the people. Them, we're not doing it for represent ourselves. So whatever views then can we go look at them? The one the way we see say it make make sense from a legislative angle. Definitely we go look at them and make sure say we consider them when they discuss the bill. But again, as a parliament, we get one eye. We not we are not divided, and. I recommend the minister, as I say, for the approach we don't take, and we encourage them to continue with that approach. They, we support them in the 1965, the repeal of the 65 Public Order Act. We will assure ourselves we support them, and for make sure it gets a good bill, we will come out of Parliament, not to a bill we will target a specific group or sector or interest. It will be a bill we will serve the, the general public, and it will be it will, it will be for posterity. All right, I'll tell you plenty. Thank you. Then I'll go look for you. Look at the census, this midterm census, where um, instead of they make so much noise around, some people are not happy about it. And the APC party, we don't post statements that they're not happy. They don't <clears> think, say, first of all, it was supposed to be the census day. Well, not to just the APC party pull a statement. Then get a group where you come together of 13 political parties mm -hmm. where there is a concern. But um, as leader of the opposition, I will also tell you, so Mr. Dwayne, I do an interview quite recently with one of the media outlets in the country and um, in the news. I've been call on the president for make it get anything. Like few other instances than on the way we believe, say, people in the Kinongo misadvise the president. So by the time we can they know, they cannot make either a pronouncement or they cannot get a nod for make them move forward. Okay. This census are one of them. Mm -hmm. And we believe, say, this census is politically motivated. Because the 2015 census, the things that will come out of the census, the things that we did away for implement, we we'll implement one third of the aid. So the focus of this administration, this government, will be for try for implement us within that census they be picked out before we talk about the new census. Okay. And the midterm census, oh. what in the midterm census go achieve? 
the, the people in the telly will mismatch. If, if something they will mismatch, it should say it exists. So the duty of statistics, now we go sit down and match the things they will say mismatch. Okay. You know they go do a census okay. for match something. You they go back to the system. The people in the will do the census. You, the, the mistake where they do, where they can sack everybody. Now, like plenty, plenty other places. There are massive sackings there. Mm -hmm. Statistics here, and your maritime administration, not come. Indiscriminate and, and, and the sackings were just. 30 days, some people they ask themselves questions why they sackings there. But basically, if the people will be able to work with them, they call them, or then call them, I sure they will be able to tell them exactly what they do, and they will answer their questions. But if you kind of host, you don't know how they build the host, you know, electrician, you know, get plan. You, on, on how they do the electricals, you end up a book, the one who's kind of gone back. Oh. And then they exactly the NPP will not produce. So, these sensors definitely will not be listed like priority. The bread and butter we we'll talked about earlier, we we'll look for money for it. If we we'll don't get bread and butter on our table, then we'll talk about we'll organize the sensors. What, what in the sensors go achieve? What in the benefit other than the political? Um, fear the way people learn on the race. Nothing particular. So I don't, I don't, I do an interview as I said in this year. I don't call on the president because the census not come. They not come with the instrument of parliament yet. Because when the president be ready for the men and do the census, the pronouncement way they make therefore come through parliament by a statutory instrument. When parliament will look at for endorse what he want for do, but definitely as. Uh, I did call on the president to encourage them for making us support this particular census. Make he tell the one day when they push him for this man and not say definitely the country need plenty, plenty more things than that census. The medical system, food. Like we insist acknowledge. Mm -hmm. See, there are many challenges. Yeah. Now we focus on the challenges and they, we don't need census for talk about them. The basic drugs are the hospitals. The status of our hospitals, the status of our farmers, you don't need sensors for telling you. These they are real, they are tangible, we are seeing them. So let we use the resources for addressing their issues and the first before we even begin to talk about sensors. Finally, because I know say them they go on for catch me for you for but then um the wage bill. What do you go say about the wage bill? Because first, you know, um one of the things that we as our people in the use of campaign against APC and say um the APC will get too many ministers and we get more work with the law and the pay. So I go compare my administration, the way to be in my own team and the way to be in our. As Gisha, you see, um, I like for use their words here, so because I use other parliament always. Then you campaign with propaganda, but you know they govern with propaganda. Okay. For, for talking about the easiest thing. Mm -hmm. But for, for one government, I will tell you, like elephant load, the elephant aid. So, not to pay, mm -hmm. definitely. The the people that were in Sarah State House, where they meet today, mm -hmm. I just use State House as, as an example, yes. that be less than 150. Mm -hmm. Today, the one that were in State House, where they employ them as 500. Mm -hmm. So, there is no way you go cut a wage bill with the increased number. I just noticed recently, I don't know if they don't replace the head of the National Commission for Democracy said, I don't know. Yes. Because I find out that there's a new person then at the head. This is just the show, <clears throat> this is a pull and put. Mm -hmm. But you get you get areas the way they're not just the pull and put, they pull, put and add. Mm -hmm. Say so with 10 people be the work and work efficiently. Now you get 20 people there. So then 10 people then they you definitely you know say they're not get better work for the day. What thing will they expect government for do? Therefore, do the things them to protect the private sector. And one of them is security. But with what is happening with the tensions, yeah, divisions in political thinking, the actions of police and the way they handle small, small things, and more so within the business district, not they make investor confidence go up. And if investor confidence don't go up, investors, investment don't come. And if, if investment don't come, the private sector don't grow. And they want to create job for the boys. Because if they don't promise them during the campaign, oh, I will give you job, I will give you job. But not to so no more, you give job. They don't put so much strain on the on the consolidated fund. That the wage bill, not increase, increase no more. It increase more than even what we can imagine. Because normally every year the wage bill will increase a small percentage mm -hmm. because here in here out government we look at increase in salaries of teachers, 
as the mm -hmm. security forces or as and where it is necessary. Mm -hmm. But then there, as I say, a marginal percentage increase. But the increase with the wage bill gets the astronomical. Okay. Um, finally, before I let you go, um, we may see um, uh, or listen to a leaked audio from um, the mayor of the town and um, we find out um, the accuser of rivalism. So man say if we resign, so man say and they call um, on the police and get a clearance to do a match against them. What is your own take on the mayor? This um, audio, you think say be doctored or what, what you think? Well, thank you very much. Basically, me not to an audio expert, so I only will tell you whether it is doctored or not. Okay. Because me not to an expert in that area. But all I will tell you is the hype with the SLPP government, particularly the ministry and the minister of local government, don't put on this thing. It's not just unnecessary. I know I'm not going to talk about tribalism because I don't ever practice them, I don't like for see them, and I don't ever practice them. And I belong to a party, the All People's Congress. We know they practice tribalism. Mm -hmm. When you watch the mixture and the configuration of the APC, before now and now, watch the t members of parliament who get, the tribes they already come up from, you watch with administration during the last 10 years, the people already, you will not say the APC not to a party where they practice tribalism. And me, as an individual, also practice tribalism, and I will never do. And I believe, say, just like me, the mayor yourself, not to a tribalist, and not tribalistic, and you know, practice tribalism. But the unfortunate that, as you say, now a leaked audio, whether I joke, it be the joke, whether I come in a privileged conversation, it be the case. The fact of the matter is, the na, na, the, the fact of the matter is, the, the audio, not to a public audio, not to a statement they will make like a public platform. But the event statement them from 2018 to now, been used, language, words been used, with far more derogatory than what we hear by that audio day, if it is real. As I say, not to me go verify that. Okay. From the use of words, the way they don't call people the Ayampi, they don't brand two particular tribes as being dominant in the past administration. They are a tribal statement. Mm -hmm. But because of progress, because we want to move as a nation, we do Tina for March on. And somebody in private conversation, not for be used on a public platform. But then I want, but then when they call for demonstration, I are disappointed at some of them. Okay. They want the way they call for demonstrations. I will tell you, because um, this same mayor, when they ask for me to demonstrate against you, mm -hmm. no less a person than a deputy minister, mm -hmm. assault, not physically, but verbally, mm -hmm. and humiliate him in public during a cleaning exercise. Mm -hmm. A former deputy minister in the Ministry of Local Government. Yeah. Nobody not demonstrate against that deputy minister. Mm -hmm. Nobody not ask for me to remove that deputy minister. Mm -hmm. They attack the mayor on his way to his office when he just assumed office. Now, what is Johnson Street mm -hmm. from the SLPP office? Nobody not make statements on that. And the mayor was calm and move on because he believes he will continue and deliver. Now, a public officer. Plenty of things have not happened. Now, you call for an administrative inquiry. Why you why selective administrative inquiry? Mm -hmm. If you want for it, do an administrative inquiry in a council, do an across board, do an all councils for check almost within the because you say you want to check employment history. Mm -hmm. So not just do an a free time city council or board district council or city mm -hmm. council. Do them right across the board. Because you want for know if things will be done they happen. So if it will be done they happen, then you could come out with policies for correct them. Okay. But you know, go doing when you they take a selective administrative inquiry, and like you work towards a selective justice, and selective justice not tenable, not just in law but in governance generally, because whatever you do, you for doing with fairness and with equity. Okay. So my take is um, this not just one of the many things away administrative inquiry or investigations or the or demonstrations then. Are required for, but because as a nation we want to move forward, we care more about bread and butter. We care more about how the ordinary man and woman will live in a society, mm -hmm. how peace could be, how harmony could be, how unity could be, for make move so long before. 
the the the, the trumpeting of this issue around the mayor mm -hmm. not the help in any way shape or form okay. and we know say we get lost them people and then, then they distract the mayor for doing work the same mayor last year gets issues again with local country, the local um, um, government ministry when he been try for try for come out with a the, the property rates mm -hmm. we review, but they may not do almost all over the country. The cadastral, mm -hmm. it was not new, but the moment they do an affront on air, it became a hue and cry, loud noise. People begin beat drums. You let me know the tendency here, like, letting things away, they out of the world. Mm -hmm. This is politics. This is governance. Let me not mix politics and governance. Let me allow the mayor for function and function a space way. When he achieve and succeed, government self will not achieve and succeed because free tongue is a part of the greater whole. All right, I tell you plenty. Thank you. Well, now we turn over the mic to when I wait on the listen or I don't send in on a text messages. Moses or Kamara all set for me then for we good afternoon, Moses. Good afternoon, Patricia, and good afternoon to my other students. And I believe to our listeners that have been taking the time to send a various comments, questions, and thoughts. I'll start from our other Facebook live of this afternoon. And the first one I read is from Mahmoud Samara. He says, in this side, you see, he's a slave at the party. Um, Robin Kwan Kamara is saying, Tweet of Mohammed Samara again, is saying, Thanks for the advocates representing. Um, Honorable Amami Isa is saying that on uh, the Facebook, I think the real problem for this president, as I see it, is that there is an issue with what I would call an insightful computation and uh, not so aware in administrative principles. Vice versa, the protection of our public uh, officials are free to do their job in peace. Uh, what I went to say, we need no attempt in the interview to appeal to um, the critical masses other than the journalistic part of this. The question to him on the harassment of the country's auditor general was a mix, was a missed opportunity for him as head of state uh, to have um, disassociated himself from any act of harassment and that the country's finest female auditor general was subject to instead. He just opposed the, uh, the experience of the Auditor General to that of his wife as if it was justified to harass and threaten public officials doing their job. Another text messenger um, is saying uh, uh, three unbearable years, two more years in bondage. Uh, another big savior is from Tunde Scott who says he wasted years of economic hardship, human rights violations, killing of innocent civilians in prisons. Uh, Mohammed H. Mansari is saying, Thank you, sir. Today, Scott again is saying, The past three years of this administration has been a disaster for this country. Now they are forcefully trying to go ahead with their censors to inflate the numbers in the southeast. Uh, Another peak from Yusuf al Sandy said the only administration is the worst government ever in the history of Sierra Leone. Ahmed Kamara is saying he's a very decent honorable. I tend to like him every time I listen to him talk or speak. Uh, my reaction to my same point of Yusuf Ali saying, Well done, my mentor, keep it up. Uh, take a look into the inbox, some of uh, the messages that have uh, been in. Uh, I believe that this is a way from the Facebook Commissioner Ronnie. This one is saying, please, Mr. Maju, we want a clear detail from you and a public figure and a future leader. There is no food for school children, neither books or uniforms for them. The SMPP don't feel me badly. Only unemployment, poor marketing uh, system, everything is poor. Please, there is no compromise in governance and let's keep the issue. This is coming from Barry White in Aberdeen. Another messenger says, please, Mr. Maju. Uh, okay, this other text says, SLPP are proud of speaking naked lies. They spent three years looting the country and focused on blaming APC for their immaturity in governing the country. Another message is saying the mayor would not resign. Even Akisoya is a decent woman and she has been steadfast in her dealings. So one just coming in 
He's saying the developmental project of the Twitter City Council has been um, evident, unlike President Bill's year in office, where it is just talk, talk, talk. They call him talk and do, but we've seen just talk, nothing done. Another one, uh, well done, Honorable Chalito Ko. Expect, except for those with party stain, but SNPP is a complete. SNPP is a complete failure. This is from frankly here. Yeah, Commissioner, we can't take all the messages in our inbox because of time and because of only this busy schedule. We'll just cut it here. Thank you very much, Moses. We want to say plenty thank you to Una where they listen and we send on a text message. If we're not able to read them all, we're very sorry. But we'll go definitely go back to the Facebook page um, and we'll go able to see all the messages the way they did. But like can't tell you, Honorable, I know say it on two o'clock you won't go pray. But waiting will be you closing courtesies and you will take time for respond to the messages, please. Thank you very much, um, Patricia. The message is a lot of the follow respond to, except um, somebody, one show from Aberdeen. We say for calling things by their names. I just we don't call things by their names, but um, sometimes my own crew is different from my own crew. They talk, so I want, I want to tell them plenty, thank you. Um, because when, I should say probably that they tell me the light goes to them in Facebook. Okay. When we talk, we're going to talk about the free education. Mm -hmm. uh, because I mentioned what in will be done, they do, mm -hmm. and how far will be done go compared to what in SRPP don't do and inside the day. Okay. And that for say the picking them at primary school, for instance, Still, they never get free. They never get free uniform. They never get free books, except for the one or two where they go pass that and table. And one text that said another in their food. Yeah, yeah. They're, I mean, because that, then they will not see that they're all over the place. Yeah. And the parents they said they talk. As I say, you can campaign with propaganda, but you know they you know they govern with propaganda. Now just now they also where lights go. Yeah, so so where lights go, one knows the light don't go. Mm -hmm. so, the, so propaganda not go work. My last my, my last word what I go one for saying now. Uh, for continue for ask all Syrians for being law abiding and peaceful citizens and for telling people to say they work, but for protect the lives and property for the damage them. The thing the thing that we happen in IPAM recently, more so with this lady, the human rights organizations them and civil society for pick up the matter and then investigate that particular case to the letter. Because it's unacceptable for many of the beat citizens them with impunity. That get for stop. And for the SLPP, I want to say Three years, we still not see nothing yet. And we doubt if we will see anything the two years we left. But as a country, we already wish bad for people and we already wish good. So we want to urge and continue to push them for do the best way they're able to do in the next two years. Because in 2023, definitely through the ballot box, the people are ready for votes and we take over governance and go back in the state house for continue the good work that we've done before 2018. And we go move Sierra Leone out of this bondage where you don't feel yourself. But definitely as a party, we will continue for be peaceful and law abiding. But at the same time, we will not go take anything from anybody where they go, they go against to integrity, the image, and human dignity. We will use the law and the required official channels then for protect your rights in this country as well. I thank you very much. Well, I want to tell you plenty. Thank you. In name of Hannah, you will Majuba, that the opposition leader in a parliament. Plenty thank you for where you come, and I shall say we go hear yeah, more for me because we go buck, 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 buck. But um, as this is the holy month of Ramadan, we go for left hand for leg, we pray and observe um, in religious rights. Thank you for you who listen to the program. Don't forget to say reliable sources. They come to you every day, Monday to Friday, from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Tata will meet again. Me and Patricia Ganda. Goodbye. Yes, subscribe. You always the watch we program them, but you not subscribe yet to the channel. All wait till you get for do, press this red subscribe button, and then you come over here to and press this bell. So the bell option, press this one with all. And don't don't. And not get for cost you anything. When you do this, now sign for show say you the support we for make we do more. Thank you for your help for share this program. Yeah, God bless you.